to another online episode of Cooking with Chef Harry. Today, we have only 30 minutes before we get back to the match. So, I'm gonna show you three Guinean finger food. Kelewele, yam chip, and chicken wings that are easy, simple, fast, and the perfect snacks to go with any exciting football match. I'm also gonna show you how we're gonna make some hot red pepper shito sauce. Let's get cooking! We're gonna start with a kiliwili. Take two plantains, skin them, and cut them into diagonal cubes, like this. Now, let's make our spice mixture. For that, we got one small chopped up onion, three teaspoons of ginger, teaspoon of garlic, a teaspoon of red pepper powder, half a teaspoon of salt, half a teaspoon of anise seeds, five pieces of cloves, half a teaspoon of cinnamon powder, half a teaspoon of nutmeg powder, <sighs> Half a teaspoon of, now what's this I forget? Ah, nutmeg powder and a bit of oil. Now, take your blender, put everything in it and blend it and this is what you're gonna get. Now, let's mix this with our plantain. Now, let's keep this aside and move on to our wings. I've got five chicken wings here. <laughs> Cut the tip off and you separate the flapper from the drumhead. And to this, we're gonna add a marinade. Now, to make our marinade, you got one chopped onion, a teaspoon of garlic paste, two teaspoons of ginger paste, and half a teaspoon of salt. You blend all this up and this is what you get. Now, let's pour this into our chicken. Mix it well. Now let's put this for aside for a bit. Now let's go make our yam. Take a yam, skin it, and cut it up into the size of steak fries. It should look like this. I got a bowl of water here. I use bilakwa, of course. Take your yam, slide it gently into the bowl of water. Add about a teaspoon of salt. Stir it. And now, let's keep this aside while we work on our wings. I got a pot on very low flame. Put your wings into it. Take your three scotch bonnet peppers, pop them as you put them in. Cover it. And now, let that steam for 10 minutes. While that's steaming, let's go make a red pepper shito. Take your blender jar, put in a cup of red scotch bonnet peppers, half an onion roughly chopped, teaspoon of ginger paste, another teaspoon of garlic paste, half a teaspoon of salt, and four roughly chopped tomatoes. Now, let's blend this all. This is what we got. Our chicken should be done by now. Take it off the fire, drain out the liquid, and let it cool for a bit. Now let's start frying. I've got my pan filled with oil on medium flame. Yep, it's ready. I've drained the uh, yam chips. Now, gently immerse it into the oil in small batches. Keep on stirring it from time to time for about five to 10 minutes. By then it should be crispy. It's a bit off-white, so that means it's ready. Now, don't let it turn golden brown, otherwise it's gonna taste bitter. Now, take it out of here, put it in a napkin, and start your next batch just the same way. Now our yam is ready. Let's go on to our kiliwele. Put your pan on low fire, because you don't want the spices of the kiliwele to burn. Put your kiliwele into the oil. Mm. 
Now, let it fry for about seven minutes. And remember, you've got to stir it constantly. And if you don't have a big enough pan, you can fry them in batches. Because otherwise, what happens is they're going to stick together. All right, it's turned golden brown. That means it's ready. Let's take it out and put it on a tissue paper. All right, that looks good. Now let's go finish our wings. Turn your flame back to medium. Gently put in your chicken wings. Now, don't forget to keep on stirring them uh, from time to time. And they should be ready in about five minutes when they turn golden crispy. All right, our chicken wings are done. Look at that beautiful color. Put your firing off and remove your chicken gently into a bowl. Look at these crispy wings. Beautiful, aren't they? Now, sprinkle in one tablespoon of red pepper, one tablespoon of kebab powder, and a tablespoon of all-purpose seasoning. Toss it up together. I love playing a game with it. Perfect. Let's serve. Looks good. The guys are going to love this. You see how fast that was? Now, let's go eat. Well, that's the end of another online episode of Cooking with Chef Harry. In the meanwhile, you take care of yourself, have a safe new year, and I'll see you next time. Ciao.